Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see here, I'm actually switching it up and actually doing a cardio video. And this is basic cardio I did after doing back earlier today. As you can see here, I recently bought the InMotion Elliptical Trainer Pro from Stamina. One thing you will notice is it does take a while to kind of get used to. I don't know if you guys can tell from the video, but right now I still have my chains on the back of it kind of wrapped around there to kind of keep it in place because the thing does wobble a little bit. But let's say you go to Home Depot or somewhere like that to get some 10 to 20 pound chains, you should be fine. As you can see here, it actually, once you get used to it, it actually, you are able to kind of go faster on it, as well as go forward and backwards you will with a regular lift coat in the gym. So, setting it up wasn't too bad to me, probably like about half, probably take about a half hour to an hour to go ahead and set it up. Fortunately, all the tools and accessories you need to actually get the thing put together and assemble, it's right there in the box, you should be pretty much good to go, and the instructions are actually real written. I have yet to actually watch the DVD, but I kind of figured out how to use this music elliptical in the gym primarily as a resource. As you can see here, I'm actually am now going backwards, so yeah, I am going backwards, not falling over anything, so it is basically stable enough for me to actually use it as a regular elliptical. And as you can also tell, I'm actually am able to go at a decent speed, but too much slowdowns, had to get used to the way the groove is set up on here as opposed to elliptical in the gym. And I'm actually using the distance bands connected to the sides of it as I would a handle in the gym. And after doing back, it really feels like I was doing more of a bicep curl. So you can see here, I actually was starting to do more spinning motions within my shoulders, trying to do internal and external rotations. The big press of the biceps because my biceps were already burning. So I just right doing back and then biceps directly afterwards. So overall, I think it's a good piece of equipment. It takes a while to get used to, but overall, I have to give it a 4 out of 5 rating. So yeah, if you need a cheap piece of home equipment to actually get your curl in, I would recommend buying this. Only 100 bucks at Dunham's. Also, I kind of paused with a semi-gorilla footage, so of course my head is cut off, so all you can really see is my arm movement and leg movement. Considering the size of my home gym, basically I was coming outside to make, so either A, you're going to see my head and not my whole body movement, or B, my body movement and not the head, so I pretty much had to go ahead and have it set so you won't see my head. Alright, please let me guys know how you feel about this in the comment section below. Until next time, 